All right, what's up, fellas? Uh, I'm coming at you with this video. I'm gonna be covering the, uh, the the beef between Disney and DeSantis from kind of an investing standpoint and trying to see how I can make some money off of this. All right, so uh, this whole thing started when Ron DeSantis, the governor of Florida, passed House Bill 1557. Um, it's commonly referred to as the Parental Rights and Education Bill. However, you've probably heard it in the news as the Don't Say Gay Bill. Uh, that's what a lot of the opponents call it. Um, and basically what this bill does is it limits instruction and discussion on gender identity and sexual orientation um, in school. And it's, it's not allowed up to fourth grade. Um, so a lot of liberals are upset about this because they feel that it's um, it's not allowing like LGBTQ children to express themselves. However, a lot of conservatives support this bill um, because they think that uh, maybe these things aren't really good to teach children about. So those are kind of the two conflicting standpoints on this argument. Um, there are a few other things in the bill, notably uh, that children, if they're going to receive some sort of health services, um, including counseling, the parents must be notified about that. And not only that, but the parents can also remove their child from receiving the service as well. Uh, so a lot of people feel that that uh, removes some of the kids confidentiality and may lead to more child abuse and things like that in the home. However, some people that support this bill uh, think that maybe counseling isn't always necessary or that parents should just have more say over uh, what kind of services their children receive at school. Um, and finally, this bill was written pretty vaguely. Uh, there are a lot of phrases like um, no no discussion that isn't developmentally appropriate and it's kind of just hard to define what is and isn't you know, appropriate um and that's really a problem because parents can actually sue the school for violating the bill so just imagine a teacher does something that you know he or she feels is developmentally appropriate but then a parent doesn't and says hey this violates the bill um you know the teacher may have unwillingly or unknowingly done something to get themselves fired and you know, in my opinion, that's not really fair because that person might lose their job. However, at the same time, I do see, uh, you know, don't be inappropriate in the classroom. Uh, but it, it's just a little bit of a gray area there. So Disney employees were very upset about this kind of legislation being passed. And they ups they asked the then CEO, Bob Chapek, to take a stand against it. So what Bob Chapek did is that he um, he actually called Ron DeSantis to voice his concerns in March of last year. DeSantis then passed this bill because uh, they were upset about some legislation before this that was kind of similar. But then uh, DeSantis obviously didn't listen to the phone call and proceeded to pass this new bill. Um, so then the current CEO, Bob Iger, has made several comments on this bill um, saying that it shouldn't have been passed and it shouldn't have been signed into law. So DeSantis was very upset about this um, and he actually abolished Disney's little district, which gave them self-governing privileges and some uh, certain tax benefits. And he replaced it with this new board that uh, the members are appointed by him. So obviously he's going to, you know, make things a little bit harder on them. And he's really using this to um, gain recognition and advance his campaign for president. From my perspective, at least. And I, I don't blame him. I mean, don't hate the player, hate the game, I guess. But uh, it does seem like it's not really going to produce much of a result, and it's not really going to benefit the state of Florida to try and choose this fight against Disney. Um, and it'll actually be a net negative for the state of Florida, which I'll get into in a bit. But basically to break down the Reedy Creek Improvement District, um, because Disney owns so much land surrounding Disney World and their headquarters and things like that, they actually got self-governing privileges over themselves. Um, just on a, They were like their own local government, basically. Um, so these people, uh, this board is elected by Disney um, and they oversaw any construction, but they also provided um, things like emergency services and park maintenance. Um, they also had some special tax benefits, uh, which incentivized Florida continue to, to continue to pr uh, provide jobs and create revenue for the state of Florida because they're actually their largest on-site employer as well as the state of Florida's largest taxpayer. Um, so obviously they contribute a lot to the state and I would argue that they actually deserve these tax breaks. Um, you know, it's a win-win. Uh, so now this new board is again, appointed by DeSantis. 
Uh, however, in the last meeting of the Reedy Creek Board, they actually signed a contract which removed the majority of the power of the incoming board. So now all the new board can really do is provide uh, like road maintenance and firefighters and things like that. So now there's some lawsuits going on after DeSantis threatened to increase taxes on nearby hotels, add tolls to roads and build a prison. Um, Disney said that he's just openly threatening them. Um, something that you would equate to nearly billions of dollars in revenue. Um, just because he didn't like that they used their freedom of speech. So that's what Disney's trying to argue. However, uh, the new board that DeSantis appointed is currently suing Disney in an attempt to uh, avoid their previous contract. So my outlook, um, again, from someone who is an investor and is really just trying to make some money. Um, I mean, I don't really care about the politics of all this. I'm just chasing the bag. That's all I'm saying. Uh, what we're looking at here is just higher, higher taxes for Floridians because there's going to be less investment and thus less job creation by Disney. Um, and now the state is also going to have to pay for things like emergency services um, and they're going to have to pay for le legal fees. The other thing is that uh, because the firefighters are now going to be paid by the state instead of by Disney, um, Disney could afford to pay the firefighters a little bit more, from my understanding, because they're a privately owned corporation and they just have the money to do that. Whereas the state of Florida, they have to keep their taxes below. Uh, so they have to pay people and government employees like as little as possible uh, to avoid upsetting their taxpayers. Right. So from my understanding, DeSantis, uh, he was originally supported by the firefighters union in Florida, but now his relationship with them is also a bit tumultuous. Uh, because they're upset about this new deal that he's proposing, where uh, the Reedy Creek, or what was Reedy Creek, um, now all those firefighters are provided by the state. So, um, again, just a culture war that's trying to, uh, that DeSantis is using to boost his cam uh, campaign. Um, and the result of this, doesn't matter what you believe, if you're pro-LGBTQ or anti-LGBTQ, arguing about things like this, it's not really going to produce much at the end of the day. Um, so I, I think that a really good politician and somebody that really cared about their constituents um, would ignore issues like this and focus on feeding the homeless, you know, making sure that, um, you know, the education system is running well. I, I just think that we have more important issues that would have a greater benefit than focusing on issues like this. But that's just my opinion. And again, I don't really care. I'm just trying to make some money. Um, so I see this as an overreach of government power um, as a libertarian myself. I really don't like this. Um, and I would probably vote conservative. I'll be voting in this next election here. And I don't know. I, I don't see many um, conservative candidates that really speak to me. Uh, Vivek Ramswamy, who was a former pharma CEO, um, I've been interested in his campaign. Uh, I've been meaning to read some of his books, actually. But, um, you know, I mean, this just makes me lose faith in the conservative platform, quite honestly, uh, because it's just not really fitting my libertarian beliefs and the belief of, uh, you know, free enterprise, free speech, things like that. So I could definitely see this going to the Supreme Court. Um, if the current legal battles don't go so well for Disney. However, I also don't see this um, as a huge threat to Disney's long-term success and their fundament fundamental business model. Um, I think the worst case scenario, they could even move parks. Uh, I mean, there are plenty of liberal states that would be happy to incentivize Disney to come uh, because again, they just bring in so, much, so many jobs and so much tax revenue for a state that um, there's really no reason in trying to fight them. Uh, so again, basically, uh, you know, this is going to hurt Floridians, um, and it's really a lose lose, you know, I mean, it just goes to show when you try to argue with people all the time, it doesn't work out for anybody. You'd be better off just being friends and teaming up. Uh, but that's my thoughts on it. I'd like to know your guys' thoughts in the comments. Just let me know.